Hi, and welcome to Pro Tuto Channel. This is a new tutorial. Today I want to show you the difference between system time and local time in Siemens PLC and even for the other brands. It is very important to learn how to deal with the PLC date and times, especially when you have in your program traces, reports, and so on. To get started, we are going to create a new project in TIA portal, then upload the whole program from a connected controller, S7-1200, and finally enter online and check the current time inside the PLC. You can jump this section, else you can have an idea about how to backup a program from an online controller. We create a new project. We click once on the name of the project, and under the top menu, online, we choose, upload device as a new station, hardware and software. Through the PG, PC interface, we choose the PC network card as interface, and we click on, start search. Once the online PLC is found, we click on, upload. Next, we click on, online and diagnostics, to enter online with the controller. Once it is done, we can click on the sub-menu, set time. There, we find two sections. The first is called, PG, PC time, it refers to the actual time of your laptop, we can even check it. It has no relation with the PLC internal time. The second is called, module time. It is exactly the PLC internal time right now. We can uncheck the box, take from PG, PC, and then change the date and time manually, and then click on, apply. Or, we can synchronize the PC, PLC time by checking this box, and then we click on, apply. Until now, we understand that the PLC internal time can be modified manually, or we can synchronize it with the PG, PC time by entering online with the PLC and then, apply the modifications. Now, let's open OB1 and let's do something to understand the difference between system time, and local time. Under, instructions, open the sub-menu, extended instructions, and then open the folder, date and time of day. Next, we have many instructions, we will only pick, read system time, and then read local time. So, we drag them one by one, and we drop it inside the block OB1. The first block will read the system time. The second block will read the local time, and I will explain to you the difference between them. We will create a data block to define there all the tags needed for these two blocks. Every block demands two tags. One for the return value, whereby we can read the error code of this block while it is executed by the PLC. The other tag will display the actual time. We define toe tags for every block, we give them their data type, and then assign it to its related block parameter. Once is finished, let's download the program to the online controller, and let's see what will happen. We enter online with the data block. We can see that the system time and the local time are different, and both, are different from the actual time right now, which is 10 o'clock 39 minutes. It's still weird, is it? By going back to the online menu, and by checking the PLC internal time, 
we can ensure that the three types of time are different. The system time is the UTC time right now, it has no relation with your time zone or with the DTC. Daylight saving time, we can call it, the independent time or the standard time. UTC, or Universal Time Coordinated, is the most precise and commonly referred to time standard. Since the 1970s, this time standard has been globally used as the most precise time standard. On the other hand, we have the local time, which is the current time depending to your time zone, and also depending to the DTC, Daylight Saving Time. When you buy a new PLC, it comes with a standard configuration of time zone, you should configure it by yourself to have the correct local time. To do this, we can enter to the hardware configuration, and then enter to the properties of the controller. Next, click on the sub-menu, time of day, there you will find, as default, a time zone which is UTC-1, and without the DTC. To have a correct local time, you should modify this parameter depending to your time zone, for example, if you are in Berlin, then your time zone parameter should be set to UTC plus 1. And let's suppose that Berlin does not apply the daylight saving time. Let's download the modifications to the controller and see what we will have. As you can see, the system time does not change, since it is universal. But the local time has changed, now it is the same with my current time on PC, since my time zone is equal to UTC plus 1. Now, let's go back to the hardware config, and let's suppose that your country applies the DTC, So we will check this option and let's keep all the default settings. The DTC is applied in many countries all over the world, and it is applied from March to October. Now we download the modifications to the controller, and then we enter online with the data block. Since we are in June, we notice that the PLC applies the DTC to its local time, and this local time now is, UTC plus 1, plus 1. The conclusion is, the system time is the universal time, it has no relation with your time zone or with the DTC. And the local time is the time configured by the user, depending to his time zone, and depending to the DTC if it's applied or not. I wish I have well explained you the difference between them, and I wish you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to ProTuto channel, we are trying to teach you the automation the right way.